I can hear a click. I found the culprit. Legit a dollar for a bottle like that. What's up everyone? This week we're just gonna be cleaning up the EF because it's been a while since I even actually like cleaned the engine bay and stuff. And I gotta figure out a clicking noise in the front end, so hopefully we can figure that out as well. Anyways, I'm gonna pull it out from the wall and we'll get right into it. Yeah, this thing has been neglected, at least cleaning wise. I mean, look at that. It just sits here all winter with a wood stove, like silk coming off of it. And especially after that last run we did in the mountains, go check that video out if you haven't yet. But driving through all the water and everything just splashing up in here. So everything's pretty dirty under the hood. I haven't cleaned the engine bay in like two years. And then the rest of the cars is extremely dirty from that last run. I mean, geez, yeah, dirty everywhere. So first I'm gonna check the steering thing while the car is dry. It, it, it's a little like clicking noise. I'll set the camera up, but I can hear a click. I don't know if you can hear it right, right there, but. It's also hard to tell what side it's coming from. It sounds like this side, but can't really tell. So we'll get up in the air, see if we can diagnose it any further. Maybe it's just a normal noise, but I don't remember ever hearing that on this thing. So first I'm gonna check everything not under load. Uh, sometimes like load carrying ball joints or whatever, you gotta put jack stand under it or you know, set it on something higher, but we'll check everything. Everything's brand new in the front end, basically, so... I don't know what I'm hearing, or if I'm just paranoid, but... I'm the type that will think about it all the time. And think I'm gonna die when I'm driving, <laughs> so... Better safe than sorry. Check the side. Checking the wheel bearings, tie rods... Upper ball joint. Can't see in there here anything. All right, now I'm gonna check it under load and actually get under it with jack stands. Maybe I'm just like super paranoid. Nothing. My first guess was like maybe one of these got a little loose and was clicking when I was steering, but these are all still really good. There's no play at all. This is like, this is an innovative, uh, innovative mounts traction bar and it is super solid, so. That's not doing anything. My tie rods aren't doing anything. They're all still legit, like brand new. So they're really stiff. Oh, I found the culprit. So one of these bolts must have loosened up. Huh. We'll figure out which one it is. I knew I was not crazy. I'm like, I, I swear the car never made this noise before. But I don't drive it much either, so it's kind of one of those things like maybe I'm just not used to driving it or hearing the noise because I don't drive it ever. I'm just double checking this one. This one's not making any sort of noise at all, so I'll still run through all the bolts on this one. I'm gonna check these bolts. They're pretty, they're tight. Just really not, I can't really tighten those too much, but they're, they're all tight. So I think I found the culprit, which is these ones up here. Oh yeah, it's, it's not tight at all. I mean, it's snug, but I'm, I'm barely even putting pressure on it and spinning. Uh, I gotta take the fuse box off, unbolt it, and then I can check that one back there. I just had to be a ricer and use these beauty bolts on here. That's pretty tight, a lot tighter than this one. That was pretty loose. But, all right, hopefully it gets rid of that clicking noise. I should, because it's pretty obvious once I found it. And we'll give it a good double check. Oh yeah, no more clicking, so. All right, I'm glad I wasn't crazy. I think that might've happened due to, um, there's a spot on one of the highways that I take to the mountain road and they fixed it for a little bit. It's like, there's like a pipe that goes under the road and so it's like a mini little bridge deck thing and it had like a big lip on it 
and I smoked that thing and it bottomed out my control arms on the strut towers and it happened a couple times because they fixed it for a little bit and then the next time I took my car out and went down there uh, apparently it sunk again and I smoked it again <laughs> so that's probably why that happened because I've never had any issues with these upper control arms ever and they're uh, true heart all right let's give this thing a good scrub I'll probably do the exterior rinse the engine bay and then kind of get into the nooks and crannies afterwards that way the car's not drying off while I'm trying to scrub that took my battery out because I just figured get out of the way you can usually just cover it yeah, but I just want to get in here a little bit better. I got this holding up my bracket because this is all like homemade besides this part and it falls down. But anyways, you also want to cover your distributor. Uh, easiest way to do that is like aluminum foil because you can just wrap it over. I'm not really too worried about it. I don't, I'm not going to run the car today so it has time to dry out. quick. Yeah, you also want to cover up your alternator if you're doing this, but like I said, I'm not running the car today at all or probably the next few days, and it's like almost 100 degrees out, so it'll dry out. I'm not going to go into a crazy detail because y'all know my OCD will take the best of me, but I did a video on this a while ago, I'll see if I can try to link it or figure out how to link it. When I did my Integra engine bay, uh, this stuff is legit a dollar for a bottle like that. And it's a degreaser, all purpose cleaner, and it cleans stuff so well. But I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to just, I just wet it down. I'm going to spray everything and then rinse it and hopefully that kind of works. Maybe I'll scrub it a little bit with a uh, microfiber, but yeah, not going too crazy. Just want to get all the dirt and grime. or. It's not really any grime here, but all the dirt and soot that's just been sitting in the engine bay for two years. I had a smaller brush like that somewhere, and I don't know what I did with it, because it's usually what I use to scrub it with. So I guess I'll just use a microfiber, maybe I'll just putt around with this thing. I'm gonna let it sit probably overnight or the next day and then we'll take it out and take some decent pictures maybe. Good thing I didn't plan on driving it because I did the rain dance apparently. Every time you wash your car I swear it wants to rain. Alright, it's the next day. I put a box fan in front of the car last night to help dry it off and to dry the floor off especially because it started downpouring and my roof leaks still. So. 
Yeah, but Engine Bay came out pretty nice just for that little quick spray and scrub. A couple water spots just on this thing. I'll clean that up, but we'll take it out quick, take some pictures, and we'll wrap it up. This bothers me so much, those two little red spots. I cut the skeleton here to clear the valve cover, but I guess it's hitting right here just a tiny bit, so maybe one of these days I'll cut that out too. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Sorry it's kind of boring again. I just have been swamped with work and some other stuff going on right now. But trying to stay true to my weekly posts for you guys and the YouTube algorithms. I don't really care much about it right now. But I do want to stay true to you guys. You guys keep me going with all this stuff. And I appreciate your support and positivity. Uh, if you did like the video, I appreciate a like. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the builds and the projects. And follow my Instagram, Kanjo underscore brothers, for more content on there. I try to stay in touch with you guys. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to hit me up on Instagram if you want stickers to help support the channel.